for the New Balance men's mile is just a seconds away. The 2020, 2012 best, Andy Badley, 357. And that was just a couple of weeks ago at the Armory in New York. There is Galen Rupp. He's a 10,000 metre specialist, frankly. He holds the US record after a marvellous run at Brussels at the end of last year in Belgium. He's an athlete who's still improving, hand over fist under the tutelage of Alberto Salazar. And uh, certainly Dwight, I think Rupp is a man who must be pretty excited with what this year promises. Well, he's always been trained to be a professional athlete, and uh, he's already made an Olympic team. He has all that international experience, and London is a good time for him to show what he's got. Well, Mo Farah, of course, will have that home crowd advantage uh, in London. And he is uh, the real deal is Mo Farah. Doesn't leave any stone unturned. A long chat with Salazar yesterday about how thorough they are in their training, and he is uh, fabulously fast. One last week. We can take a look at... Uh, that field now, James Brewer, another Brit with a lot of promise, but Galen Rupp, Mo Farah, and Matt Shearer is the pacemaker in this mile. Eight laps of the track, 155.5, we understand the target time for the half. Well, Mo Farah to left of picture, looking a little confused as to exactly which line he should be towing. <laughs> I'm sure it's Mo's first indoor mile. He started off his life as a, a, an 800-metre runner as a youngster, Mo Farah, but... He can now boast personal bests of uh, 333 for 1,500 metres, which is worth about 351 for a mile. Galen Rupp, well, he's close to 10,000 in 152 for 800, so he has good speed. <laughs> Away they go, then. The big figure of Matt Shearer, ideally built for a pacemaker outdoors. Tough to get past indoors, but he'll uh, drop out once his job is done. 155 and a half, remember, the target time. For uh, 800 metres, although nobody really looks that keen to go with Matt Shearer. He's a big, powerful lad. Mo Farah goes to the front. Seems a rather reluctant. Oh, no! Oh, my word! He's gone down. Farah's gone down, back on his feet really quickly. But will Galen Rupp do him any favours and slow it down for his training partner to allow him to get back up there? There was a real faltering feel to those early metres from the entire field. Nobody wanted to lead Dwight, and that reluctance is what caused that. And just as importantly, no one wanted to follow the pacemaker. You can see him further on the left, and he just gets caught up, just hits feet, and goes down, and to his credit, rolls back up as quickly as he possibly can. But, Tim, you certainly know that takes a lot out of you when you're just in the beginning stages of a race. You're just kind of getting over the nerves and trying to get into your rhythm. And then there he is smartly staying back there and hoping that the field slows down. But no one wanted to go out with Matt Shearer. Now he's gotten smart enough to kind of back things off a bit. It's going to be a very long uphill battle for Murph Fair to really be effective in this race. A real shame. Well, it's a real test of character. See if you come back from a fall. It only happened to me once and it destroyed me. But let's see what Farrah can do here. He won last week in a match against USA in Glasgow, Scotland in 3.39 with a devastating last 400 metres, beating last winter's world number one at 15. Meters. So Mo Farah gradually moving up now, but Shearer out in front, Galen Rupp in uh, third place, that's uh, James Brewer in second, behind Shearer, James Brewer is another Brit, is he doing Farah any favours as he pulls up down the outside there, Farah gradually easing past this field, he's got the strength of a 10,000 metre man, he broke the European record remember at the uh, Prefontaine meeting last year in Eugene, he's got enormous mental strength, and good flat speed too as Shearer drops out 158.45. That is a big, big favour for Mo Farah. Well, you got a double favour there because it's three seconds off what they asked for, but it was also Brewer is the one that he hit feet with. So there may have been a little guilt there, I doubt it, but uh, uh, now at least it's allowed him to be in the mix. It's just a matter of how much energy did he have to... Uh, mental energy as well as physical energy that he had to use to get back into the crowds loving the fact that he's competitive after that fall three laps to go Galen Rupp out in front talk about a mental dilemma do you push on hard and try and destroy your teammate your training partner who's had a bad early race fall or do you ease back and make it a 50-50 affair make it a bit more uh, fair if you like but Rupp leads with two and a half laps to go Mo Farah in second place, looks to be struggling to me, he's grimacing there in the gap to uh, Rupp, I'm not sure that it's closing. In third place is O'Leonard of Ireland, he's got rid of that uh, long hairstyle which uh, raised a few eyebrows at the World Championships last year, but Mo Farah certainly uh, struggling a little bit there. They go through three, the three quarters there in uh, 2.57, but Farah, I think the stuffing's been taken out of him because O'Leonard goes past him now. And so does uh, Taylor Milne. Taylor Milne there in third place. Rupp out in front. What a turn up it would be if Rupp could win this mile. Under four minutes surely is uh, coming his way. Although they're closing now. 
the 1500 meter specialist still in it closing very quickly there at the bell on the final lap and Mo Farah in fourth place, I'm sure can't get back to these three, what a shame as Olena hits the front have the Irish found another miling star here to go with the greats like Eamon Coughlin and Ray Flynn and Frank O'Mara and Marcus O'Sullivan, one metre in it here as they come round the bend, Taylor Milne in second place, good running from Taylor Milne and look at the dust up here, Rupp, good running from him in third place but it's a big win there for Leonard. Taylor Milne in second, Rupp in third and Mo Farah, a very, very frustrated and disappointed fourth, I'm sure that winning time, 3.56.01. That's not what was uh, scripted, I have to tell you, albeit a great day for uh, Kieran O'Leonard, a man who's very much on the up. And we shouldn't forget, he's a training partner of uh, Rupp and uh, Mo Farah as well. Well, last year it was Gabriel Meska losing his, uh, his shoe in the first couple of feet of the race, and then he comes back and wins it. Mo Farah going down with less than 200 meters into the race and coming back with showing a lot of guts. You can see there's Brewer right behind him, Farah on the left, and you can see they just happened to hit on the... It may have even been Mo just catching up in his own, in his own feet there, but look at that. It's like an Indy car crash with everybody going every which way, but Mo Farah getting up very, very quickly. But, you know, the one athlete who stayed really well clear of it was Olenek there in the red second to left. And Leonard uh, really did, came out of that one pretty well. A lot of athletes suffered there. Here we go with a lap to run. And Leonard's got Rupp in his sights. And frankly, you can see what is, is it's, it's a race over as far as I'm concerned at this point. And that race sort of ebbed and flowed because Galen did slow it down a little bit to try to get Mo Farah back in it. There's the move by Leonard on the backstretch. He's in complete flight there. Being chased by Milne, Rupp is, uh, obviously has nothing left, even though he ran under four minutes here. But Leonard. Pumping nicely here. It's a good easy early season time with him just under over 356. Milne struggling to try to catch him. It's not going to happen. Rupp just didn't have any more turnover left. A very strangely run race, really ruined by that early in the race fall. Well, we can take a look uh, as the winner now. Kieran O'Leonard, 356.01 from Taylor Milne, the Canadian. Good run that for the 2008 Olympian. Galen Rupp, well under four minutes, so he's in fine fettle despite that uh, little interrupt. Take a look again at Kieran O'Leonard's form down the home straight. He is a coming force. Oh, no question about it. And, and Galen ran within a second of his indoor personal best in the mile.